Hey, Shalom Akim. We want to start off by giving all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekak, Wadash. We want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect. And now uh, we want to get into this lesson entitled The Perennial Prophets of Doom, as Trump calls us, man. Okay, so we're going to jump straight into it. We're going to start with the uh, definitions. Uh, we start off with a perennial. Perennial, come on. Yeah. Did you look it up in the um, etymology? Not yet, not yet. Uh, you want me to look this up first? Uh, yeah, you, you know, we can just do a quick Google search. Okay, this is uh, a perennial. All right, the definition of a quick Google search on perennial, lasting or existing for a long or apparently infinite time, enduring or continually recurring. Recurring. So this is why, like the apostles always say, even, hey, even our apostle Paul, man, is a beautiful example. The instant, in season, and out of season, man. Isaiah 62 and 6. I was about to grab it. I was got just it. about I, to grab it. You got it, man. You got it. I was it. just about to grab it. Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6. For I, uh, Salaka, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Right, man, because the watchmen are the, another word for the watchmen are the judges. Another word for the judges are the seers. Another word for the seers, all right, are the fathers of Israel. All right, and um, during every captivity, all right, because the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, he's about tired of this place. He's he wants to take us out of here, but before he does that, all right, the elect has to be sealed. The elect has to wake up. Therefore, we gotta be out there, all right, breaking down that hard head that uh, Israel has, man. You know, this Amos chapter three verse seven. Surely the Lord will do nothing, but He revealeth His secret unto His servants, the prophets. Right. Right, and the Lord is revealing his secrets, all right? One main secret is that he's coming back soon because most people think that the Lord had fell asleep or he didn't forgot about us, you know? So they continue on their wickedness. As the scriptures say, since the fathers fell asleep, yep. they continue on their wickedness, man, saying where's the promise of his coming? But we see through through the coronavirus, we see through, you know, multiple uh, earthquakes and hurricanes and, you know what I'm saying, just great deaths of prominent figures, all right, that the most high is on his way, man. That's because that trumpet is being blown. Mm -hmm. So let me just jump to verse six right quick. Uh, Amos chapter three, verse six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? You had Donald Trump, maybe made that statement of prophets of doom. Mm -hmm. He said, we got to stop. You can't let them instill fear. He didn't say like, like exactly like that, but he said, uh, we can't let those men instill fear in us. Why? Because the elites know that the prophets are out there on the highways and byways blowing that trumpet. And that trumpet is the scriptures. All right. That's why we're not holding our peace day nor night. We're going to go out there and clearly state and declare the downfall of this wicked society. All right. So shall a trumpet be blown in a city? Right. We're reading these words out there. OK. On the highways and byways in front of our enemies and the people not be afraid. These people are scared. Donald Trump is scared because the elites know the judgment is going to hit them. All right. The elites know that the banking families, they know that two thirds. They know that. Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord hath not done it right in that city is Babylon the great. All right, it's it's uh the world. Okay, Esau of course built cities throughout the whole world, but it really represents Babylon the Great, the place of 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 the majority of the wickedness. America brings their democracies from one place to another, but we're out here in the land of the North America blowing a trumpet continually. We're not keeping silent, right? And it says here too, verse eight: The lion hath roared, who sh who will not fear? The Lord Yahweh hath spoken. Who can but prophesy? When Yahweh Shah came 2,000 years ago, he loosed those seals. All right, that was the end of the end times. Right. So Yahweh Shah coming 2,000 years ago, okay, led, uh, led us up to this point in particular time in history now. So I'm going to just grab that uh, perennial definition again. Lasting or existing for a long or apparently infinite time. Like the scriptures say too, your teachers should not be removed in a corner right. anymore. Yeah. Right. So now we see our teachers prophesying the downfall of America. And of course, the, all, all the Akim throughout the four winds prophesying the downfall of this earth. Right. All right. And the rulership of this earth enduring or continually recurring. So this is a recurring process and they're scared and they're being agitated. All right. When I mean, who's being agitated? The elites. I got a precept just to add to you. I, this uh, You say how the Lord has spoken. Who can but fear? Right. So this is Psalm 60 and four. Thou has given a banner to them that fear thee. That it may be displayed 
that it may be displayed because of truth. Now you could grab Daniel's 12. Gun. You know? Because we in that time, all right, you know what I'm talking about? And uh go to that place. Yeah, knowledge shall Okay, be that's that knowledge shall increase and also too, I know what you mean. Uh you're talking about um You shall come in the end. But uh Shalak, I, I forgot where it's at though. Okay, okay, verse nine. Shalak. Okay. This is Daniel chapter twelve, verse nine. It happens. Daniel chapter twelve, verse nine. Um, and he said, Go thy way, Daniel. All right, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Now, we know when Yahweh came, he opened up those seals, right? right. But also, too, this dealing with reincarnation, mm -hmm. that the lot, the spirit of the prophets, subject unto the prophets. So you are who you are back then, all right? You're just in another body, all right? So all the prophets are on this earth, all right? Sealed, um, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end, all right? Now, now the, the words are being declared. All right, like it says in Habakkuk, now the vision is speaking plainly, all right, upon tablets, upon tables, which the most represent the scriptures, all right? And also, too, um, you, you got to preach. I was just going to bring something out right quick. You got it up. Uh, Psalms 85, verse uh, 11. Psalms 85, verse 11. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. So truth has sprung out of the earth. All right, you had Abba Bivens, all right, but you had our elders, really our elders now are really the ones uh, pushing that vibration out there, right. all right, and all of, all, all of Akim, because we see uh, doom, doom is going to hit this place like, right. uh, you know what I'm saying, it's going to hit this place and people are going to be caught off guard, all right, people are going to be caught off guard, but the prophets are going to continue to watch. All right, why? Because we're watchmen. We constantly blow that trumpet and we're warning the mm. people, <laughs> two thirds of our people, and we're warning the, uh, the, uh, our people to get right before the Lord destroys them. I got a precept to add to you, uh, Gun. And, and how is truth going to spring up out of the earth, man? You know? You know? This is John, St. John. Oh, yeah, God, God. Chapter 7. You know I'm going out. Chapter 7, verse, verse uh, 38. 38. Yep. He that believe on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Okay? So, Yahweh Shah is clearly making it plain of how truth is going to spring up out of the earth, man. You know? And how, you know, hey, you know, when you read the scriptures, Apostle Paul, he said the scriptures speak about how he basically was uh, in the temple, was daily teaching, you know? So, hey, we are those perennial prophets, and the ones that the Lord is dealing with will, will be consider perennial or, or or hot to teach the word man you know you know as um even who's a jeremiah yeah he said he didn't want to teach the word but that spirit was in him man right you know so right so like the brother said uh jeremiah didn't want to teach the word but the lord put a spirit on him that's like look that's your lot that's what right. you have to fulfill you can't be nothing else what are you gonna do in this world like brothers had dreams of playing basketball had dreams of being rappers, yeah. had musicians or whatever type of um, um, you wanted to take up in life. All right. But really, those things we already know it perishes. Look at uh, the Kobe Bryant incident. All right. We're not going to put more thought in right. Kobe Bryant than we're going to put on, on the scriptures and the prophecies. Because even though it's part of prophecy, but we're still going to continue to watch that parental. OK, we got the uh, peripheral vision, too. We got we're looking everywhere circumspect. We're watching everything around us and being circumspect. We're watching the prophecies occur. World War Three, just to, um, just uh, I think today or yesterday, uh, three missiles hit uh, the U.S. embassy. Exactly. Right, those yeah. right warning warning shots. Those are like little warning shots here and there. So this place is only going to get worse. We got the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. uh, you had Wuhan. What's that? Wuhan, China, whatever. One of those towns it originated. Right. They, they, it's like they say, say it's like a ghost town. Because everybody's being quarantined or they're just scared. They're in the, and China's a big, uh, it's populated. It's a populated country. All right? And, and, and even if we don't speak, man, like, you know, me and the brother was talking. You got to understand. Even though the, pros, the apostles got uh, crucified and persecuted, Rome still went down. Right. You know? So even if you take us off these streets, doom is still going to happen, That's man. That's right. Like uh, the Lord said in Isaiah 55, was that Isaiah 55 and 11? Right, his you words know? should not return so it's not, to him void. It's not going to return it to him void. It's going, it's going to accomplish that way he sent it, man. Might as well just you know? grab it And out. it's already out there, man. Come the on. spirit, you know, the, uh, uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. When that spirit is out there, it's out there, man. 
whoever get cut, man, ain't sleeping right after that. Nope. You know, like uh, Pontius Pilate's wife, man. Yeah. You know, she she was sleeping right. She was having suffering many dreams. And that, <laughs> that's what these people got about us. They're suffering uh, those dreams, too. That's why you got people like uh, No Class Malone, Vocab No Class Malone, yeah. that constantly comes at the Hebrew Israelites because he can't sleep right. All right, then you got like G-Mans and all that. They're still steady, always trying to find an accusation. This Donald Trump, when he made that statement about the prophets of doom, the elect already know exactly what he was, who, um, who yeah. he was coming who was for. He, referring? he was referring to us. All right, because you got you got a lot of people out there to speak about um, um, what's happening on Earth, but are they the prophets to the Most High? Did the Most High send those people? All right, you got to look at the way the prophets teach and the way the prophets speak and what the prophets are saying. Right. If the prophets are declaring the downfall of a kingdom, mm -hmm. that's we're not only declaring the downfall of a kingdom, we're de declaring every aspect of what this life is and what this yeah. um, means or what it's entailing, all right? We're, we're bringing this place down through the spirit of the mouth, uh, uh, okay, by the heavenly father, all right? We are his mouthpiece, all right? All um, right. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11, like the brother said, his word doesn't return unto a void. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. How's it going forth out of his mouth? The prophets, going back to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, mm -hmm. all right? We're um, consuming Esau. We're consuming these devils, and they are scared. They're terrified, all right? If we're not, look, we're not even in our rulership. We're not even in our, uh, uh, our former age when we were stronger back then in our bodies, and they're scared of us. Who the hell are we? We're just right. We're the bums. We're the guys that are looked down in society. Yeah, People laugh at us. And you know, I was gonna say, you know how brothers say, um, you know, Esau's scared because the light is on his ass, man. Right. You know, you can't when Esau Esau's power is lies. You know yep. what I'm saying? The devil power is lies, man. Con. That's how the devil was able to trick Eve through lies, man. Yep. You know, but then when you put the truth on his ass. All right, now it's like, uh, you know, he, he's he, scrambling, man. He, he can't run nowhere. You know? He, he right. can't go nowhere. Right. So That's Esau, so Esau's really that roach, though. Right. And you look at it because once that them lights come up, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? They, they they go hide. But guess what? Where you wherever you at, the Lord said in Amos nine and two, wherever you at, the angels gonna snatch you out. So no matter if it's an underground bunker, all right, you could be building it for twenty years. Making it some hard steel, whatever type of metal to build your underground bunkers, that's not going to work. Whatever you try, it's not going to work against the prophets, all right? Mm -hmm. So, um, but it shall accomplish that which I please. Who please the Lord? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and it shall prosper in the thing where, where to I sent it, right? For something to prosper, meaning it's prevailing. That's why we could boldly come out here and 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 put a a uh, hurting on Esau's kingdom by reading words, not grabbing guns, not getting carnal, right? But speaking these words, and these words are what fears, what what puts fear in these devils. They know, they know what they got coming. Donald Trump knows what he got coming. He says, "Oh, we gotta reject those prophets of doom." Well, it's gonna be right. a lot of doom and gloom coming. Hey, Esau, East, what Esau got the uh, doomsday clock? Yep, you know. So Esau knows doom. You know what I'm saying? We just like the oh, brother yeah, Kalab yeah. always goes into man. He just he just calls an elephant out in the room, man. That's all we doing, man. You know? You look at the news. Jake said they don't watch like watching news because it's all bad stuff. Well, the scriptures speak about that, man. We just telling you, we we telling you what's going on in the world, all right? Based upon and, and we backing it up with scriptures. That's all we doing, man. You know? It's nothing, you know, nothing nothing too uh well it is extravagant because nobody cares about the Lord. You know, but hey, it's, it's, it's laid out for us, man. You know what I'm saying? We not out there, you know, uh, causing a, uh, 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 you know, uh, um, uh, uh, pestilences and plagues. You know, you leave that up to Esau, man. You know, but we we are going to tell you what he's doing. You know, the second Ezra chapter seven verse forty three. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. You got you to get that definition now. Uh, you got to, man. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to go into the... Uh, and, let me go, yeah, let me go into the simple uh, Google, then I'm going to go into the yeah. entomology. The definition of doom is death, destruction. You can grab, um, um, if you ain't got a precept, Jeremiah 28 and 8. Oh, that's spirit. I'm right there, yep. Death, destruction, or some other terrible fate. <laughs> Jeremiah 28 and 8. Wow. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old 
prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war <laughs> and of evil and of pestilence. So what is that? That's we prophesy against men. Every time a, a kingdom was taken down, the prophets, the Lord will bring the prophets to determine your fate. All right. To determine what will happen. All right. Just like a king, the king, I think Ahab went to Elijah. Elijah told him what will happen. All right. I uh, forgot the account. But you got always in um, in history, the prophets came to determine the downfall of a kingdom or a society, right? And check this out, death, destruction, or some other terrible fate. ICBM nuclear missile is going to be the terrible fate, okay? Your hose, the scriptures say the hose, all right? Your eyes are uh, consuming your hose, right. all right? Your tongue will melt. It's going to consume. And check this out, just for laughs and giggles, the aircraft was sent crashing to its doom in the water. <laughs> Look at that. Condemned to certain destruction or death. Fuel. Uh, Revelation 17. How they said they're going to eat her flesh. Gun. And, and burn her with eat her flesh. And burn her with fire. Fuel was spilling out of the damaged wing and the aircraft was doomed. Yeah, look at Kobe <laughs> oh, Bryant. Oh. The, the helicopter was doomed. That's uh, what was that? Uh, Jeremiah 51. How it says, um, take bomb for her if she will be healed. Kyle, let's bring it out. You know? Um, what is it? 50. I think it's 50. Take ball for if she if she will be healed. <laughs> uh, 50, uh, 50 and 8. It's all good. Um, oh, I got it. This is Jeremiah 51 and 8. It says Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her, take bomb for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. We will have... 51 and 8, right? Yeah. We will have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. All right? So here it is. Oh, man. You know, if... if it says we will have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. You know? You can't, you know, uh, you know, talk shit against the prophets of doom and still set up homosexuals. That's not how this going to work, man. You either listen or you get judged. All right? And the judgment is already set, man. Revelation 18. Revelation 18, the wordplay tells you that the judgment is already set, man. You know? Just read Revelation 18, man. You know? The wordplay says what? Babylon the Great is fallen. All right? And the Lord repeated it over. Fallen. Right. It's fallen. Mm -hmm. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her to take bomb for her pain? If so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country for her judgment reach into heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Right, so no nation is going to come for your aid neither. All right, like you did them wrong. Check this out. That's how you can prove it's also talking about different nations. Look, as merchandise, all right, 868.75 for the word bomb. Seri T Seri I can't pronounce that. Salaka Akim. I really can't. Sir, right? I, damn. Sarai? S no. S uh, I think that's how you would say so right I white. Taza. It's all good if we can't. Um, Tazar? I don't know. To Sarai. Tazar. Something like that. But a bomb, a salve, like something to, for you to see, like the prophets got the eye salve. Eye salve. We can see, right? And also says as medicine. So there's no medicine that can heal or patch up the wounds inflicted on his kingdom. And the prophets are the ones really deteriorating the body of Babylon. Like that last leg. Who do you think is putting that vibration on for the Babylon to be on its last leg? It's the prophets. And check this out. And um, A, it says as merchandise. Right? Because nobody is they're going to howl for it. Nobody's going to deal with you. No merchandise, no commerce, no nothing. All right? As merchandise. Distillation. All right, um, meaning to crack, and Babylon is once something is cracked, like your bone is cracked, you can't play like this. This particular crack, you're not gonna fix it. You're not gonna uh, grab crutches. Babylon is on his last leg, okay, and and they're cracked. All right, you can't fix it. It's done. What's done is done. Right. Like the brother said, the word is already out there. It's already damaging you, damn devils. It's like a dam. You know what I'm saying? When a dam and that dam is cracked, it's cracked. You ain't you ain't patching that thing up, man. You know, it's too far going. All right, and he saw uh, uh, every time brothers talk, man, you talk about more more bullshit that Esau's doing, man. 
day to day. So again, if you, even if you stop, so-called stop the uh, prophets of doom, guess what? You ain't stopping a missile from coming, because the other nations they still want they still want your head, man. You know, Iran still wants to put a foot in Esau's ass, man. Russia as well. All right, the chariots, you know, the chariots are gonna show up whether you like it or not, man. You know, you had chariot sightings even even before the the so-called prophets of doom was out there, man. You know. So yeah, you gotta explain that now, man. You, uh, you know where that scripture at? The judgments are new every morning. The Lord's judgments are uh, are new every morning. I gotta try to look that up. That's it, in Nahum. Uh, damn. Yeah, he went. Apostle Ram always brings it up. Doom. To find it. Uh, doom. I'm gonna just bring out this etymology of 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 the word doom noun. Okay, a law, a statute, a decree. All right, we're telling you what's the creed. All right, we're telling you what's the creed and what's going to go out there. Look, administration of justice, judgment. All right, judgment is going out there. All right, like in this society, judgment don't proceed forth. All right, unrighteous decrees, okay, they don't proceed forth. They see a homosexual, they allow them to be. Though Donald Trump said, okay, uh, we have the best, uh, we have uh, clean air, the best uh, uh, um, or the best uh, quality of air over 40 years. But meanwhile, they got homosexuals running loose and running rapid all, everywhere you go. All right, that's bad enough just to look at that. Okay, so this is a um, a awkward, it's, it's off balance kingdom. All right, it's not in balance. All right, justice. All right, and the prophets are gonna bring that justice. All right, all right, it is a justice to get these damn devils out of power, man. That's a right rightful thing. Attention. All right, dome. It means okay, be a, a pay close attention to it. All right. So doomsday, check this out. Let's get doomsday. From doomsday and finality of the Christian judgment. <laughs> well, you know, Israelite, okay, judgment. <laughs> crack of doom <coughs> is the last trump. Damn, we just read crack. The crack of doom. This place is being broken down. All right, this place is being broken down. Every time they try to patch one problem up, another problem occurs. They try to patch up another problem, another problem occurs. Mm -hmm. All right, domain. To judge, pass judgment. What are the prophets doing? We're passing judgment on this kingdom. All right, meaning condemned to punishment, right? Because um, the your elites are gonna be man. Let me just bring it out. Now let's find that scripture. Nah, so I know it's a name. I just can't find it. This is um Psalms one forty nine verse um judgment. verse. Six Psalms one forty nine, starting at verse six. Let the high praises of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai be in their mouth, and a two edged sword in their hand, to execute a vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. Right when we get those spiritual powers, all right, to bind their kings with chains. What kings? King simply means ruler. All right, Donald Trump, all you damn devils on this earth, we're not scared of y'all. All right, we're not scared of y'all. We already know you're gonna roll on us. All right, so yes, we are the prophets of doom. To bind their kings with chains, uh, Salaka, to execute vengeance upon the heathen, right? You other nations, all right? And punishments upon the people. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, right? You elites, to execute upon them the judgment written. What judgment written? All every, what was written four times was written five were learning. If the Lord says something is going to happen, that means it's going to happen, all right? That means it's going to happen. There's no looking back. Once you begin to go work, all right, brothers, to continue to finish that good work. All right, to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor, all right, have all this. Uh, so let me go jump back to eight. And their nobles with fetters of, ch of, of iron, right? We're going to put you at least, okay, um, in, in chains. All right, we're going to put you at least in chains. All right, when we get those spiritual bodies, all right? To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise he the Lord. So judgment has to go forth. All right, in this society, judgment don't go forth. They allow anything to go down. All right, they allow anything to go down. Um, no, nah, I can't find it. Might be Zephaniah. Sure, it's all good. Out. Watch, I'm gonna find it after this lesson is over. No, I lose. This is uh, Joel, chapter two, verse one. Blow you the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. All right, what's that? What's that? That 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 alarm? Okay, warning of judgment to come. America, Iran, 
Russia, Pakistan, Iraq, you name it, India, North Korea, South Korea, all right? All these places are going to be a, 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 a waste and desolation, all right? A, a, a lot of these places, really, um, the Lord is going to preserve certain land mass, but uh, most of these places um, is going to be um, a desolation. It's going to be desert-like creatures, all right? Because once a nuclear missile drops, you, you people are going to panic like crap, all right? That's doomed. How you going to call us the prophets of doom, but you create nuclear missiles to wipe out a whole mass of people? Oh, Robert, Robert Oppenheimer. Robin, what do you say? Uh, he has, uh, he has the, cre he's the creator of, of. I'm the destroyer of worlds. Uh, I become the destroyer of worlds. Con. Um, <laughs> yeah, you had, uh, what's him call it? What's that? I, um, what's that dude, that damn nerd? What's that dude out? He said he, uh, um, damn. Oh, you talking about the nigga in the wheelchair? Uh, I meant the dude no, no, in the wheelchair. No, 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 not uh, Steven, no, not, not him. It was the dude that said World War Four would be fought with, um. Oh, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. I forget their names. All right, yeah, so. I know not what, uh, what World, World War Three would be fought with, but World War Four will be fought with sticks and stones. Meaning that World War Three is the last war, man. And it's coming, man. It's rapidly coming, man. You know, you just look at, just type in World War Three, man. You'll see the last, at least within the last month, the last month, I would say, um, you know, they've been talking about World War Three heavy, man. You know? And especially, not, if not so in America, these other uh, alternate medias, man. Uh, Al Jazeera, uh, what is it? Um, I think it's Haritz, the, uh, the so-called, uh, or the Jerusalem, uh, the so-called Jews, they got their own, um, uh, you know, um, you know, news uh, uh, site, Express News. I think it's a site called Express, you know. Yeah, wow, this, yeah this place is out of here. Mm -hmm. You know, this place is definitely out of here, man. All right. And a lot of people like they're looking at this, um, this damn Kobe Bryant. We don't care about no damn Kobe right. Bryant. All right, we don't we don't care about his daughter neither. I'm just letting it be known. All right, he's first of all he's an adulterer. Back in 2003, whenever he committed adultery, he committed adultery, and the Lord put him to death. All right, Leviticus 20 and 10 says that. All right, or t yeah, 20 and 10 says that. All right, the adulterer and adulteress shall be put to death. All right, right. You got people looking at him like you some type of who cares how good a basketball player he was. All right, we don't care about the worldly. We don't care about no damn uh, Le uh, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James. All right, they all dumb mind. They sold out to Satan. All right. Yeah, and judgment is still coming for you, man. All right, Kobe died. All right, but you still got to wake up to go to work the next morning. You still got to pay your rent. Life still goes on, man. And guess what? Esau's still gonna come down having great wrath. Esau hasn't stopped push. You know, hasn't stopped planning ways to push that chip because Kobe died, man. You know, Esau hasn't stopped looking at these other nations that build, uh, you know, nuclear missiles because Kobe died. You know, things still continue on, man. You know, judgment is still coming. All right. Again, this is what past week. Uh, the doomsday clock has moved to 100 seconds until midnight, man. You know, so here it is. All these things are happening. All right. And you worried about a uh, damn uh, somebody else. Another Jake that died, man. You know. You know, what about the men of the Lord when they die, man? Nobody fucking. Uh. You know, uh, you know, uh, takes a day out to mourn and stop, uh, you know, the world stop doesn't stop for them, man. You know, this you got you got a scripture. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Ezekiel three and seventeen. It says, "Son of man, I have made thee watchman into the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me." All right, so we're giving you warning from Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shai. When I say unto the wicked. All right, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, for his blood will I require at thy hand. So we got a job to do. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. All right, and hey man, we looking out for ourselves, man. Fuck you. All right, we got, we got a job to do, you know what I'm saying? And Lord willing, the Lord, you know, be happy with us. So in that day, 
Because, again, judgment is still coming. There's a name by the Heavenly Father. We just read in Isaiah 55 that it will happen. All right? But we covering our ass, man. This is our first love. You know? Con, this is our first love, man. You know? It is what it is, man. You know? It, it, judgment is going to happen, you know, whether you like it or not, man. Also, too, it is Acts, what it is. Acts chapter 18, verse 2. Con, con. We can go into that, too. I just want to bring this out right quick. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. All right, contrary to proper belief, once again, the world thinks that the Lord doesn't create evil, he doesn't kill. All right, 1 Samuel 2 and 6 says that he cre uh, He kills and he makes alive. All right, so your riches are going to perish with you, all you elites, your riches are going to perish with you, okay? Um, Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7, I form the light, oh, and you sports players, entertainers, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. How's the Lord creating evil? The prophets of doom. That's another way the Lord created evil, by sending the prophets of doom out here, okay? I, the Lord, do all these things, right? Because that's a perfect balance. The Lord says in uh, Proverbs 11 and 1, he doesn't like that uh, a false balance is an abomination unto the Lord. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. He don't like no false balance. America mm. is a false balance. It doesn't lean correctly. It's not sitting, it's not even an established, a uh, proper kingdom established. It's just off, right. awkward. Ever since right. they... Established the kid, it's still awkward. It doesn't really, it's not a real establishment. All right, right. And, and the prophets, man, they really here to just put a hey, set the balance right, man. You know, put the balance scale right side up, man. You know, tell you, you know, a woman not supposed to have authority over a man, man. Telling you that a homosexual is supposed to be put to death, telling you that you're not supposed to eat these pork or crab and stuff like that. You're not supposed to celebrate these idols and these wicked deeds, you know. That the brother had uh, brought out, man. The Most High uh, uh, created us, you know, to uh, tell you about the bad times, man. Which, another word for bad times is evil, man. You know? I want to just uh, read this uh, presidential inauguration um, Bible scripture that James A. Garfield in 1881 um, put a swore in or uh, uh, underneath his inauguration, right? Or auger. I got to go into that word. I forget what it means sometimes. They used to use birds to determine the, uh, the future of, uh, of things. Mm -hmm. But James A. Garfield in 1881, he wasn't the only president that went to the scripture, this Bible scripture, Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. All right? So Donald Trump, he's being controlled by God himself. All right? By who, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ. You're being controlled by them. All right, so the king's heart, what, what's the heart in a, in a Hebrew lob? All right, so your mind, Donald Trump's mind is being controlled to say what he's saying. And he's actually thinking that he's talking for, just for him to say. No, it's the Lord using your mouth, just like the Lord uses the mouthpiece of the prophets to speak. What, make, what you think he's going to do with y'all? All right, so he's using y'all devils. That's what Yahweh Shah said in the book of John. He said, they have persecuted me. They will persecute you also. Right. So it was already written that you will persecute us. Like, like the brother said, you're just actually, you, you, you're you basically uh, putting into fruition that which is already written, man. You know, you're an actor in the Lord's movie, man. You know, the actor just goes by what the script is, man. Whether you understand it or know it or not, man. You know? Uh, You want to, uh, you got a scripture? We can, uh, I got the X. Con, you can probably start from the top. Yeah, this is Acts 18 and 1. It says, After those things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth and found a... Sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. And found a certain uh, Jew named Aquila, born in Pontus, lately come from Italy. All right, so pro goes to prove, man, that Cornelius was an Israelite, man, because you had Jews in Italy. All right? With his wife, Priscilla, because that Claudius... Had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome and came unto them. You know, so we could look that up uh, when it Claudius. This is a uh, Claudius exposing of the Jews and Israelites from Rome. All right, reference to an exposing of Jews from Rome by the Roman Emperor Claudius Caesar, who was in office AD 41 to AD 54, appear in the Acts of the Apostles 18 and 2, what the brother just read, and in the writings of Roman historian Suetonius. Suetonius, Salakia. Okay? Um, the exact date is uncertain. The max, maximal time window of, for the expulsion of the Israelites from Rome is from January AD 41 until January AD 53. More details. Let me just go into it. 
Uh, there were at least two exposing of Jews from Rome before this event. Mm. Okay, in 139 BC, Jews were expelled after being accused of Jude Judaizing among the local Gentiles. Then in A AD 19, Tiberius once again expelled Jews from the city for similar reason. Now, back in um, 19 AD, I, uh, uh, Tiberius AD um, 19, I was looking this up. Yahweh Shah was living at the time of Tiberius Caesar, right? And um, the Holy Spirit wasn't poured out at that particular time. But just to bring out this point, that you had Israelites, uh, actually, I was looking up, they were scattered to Sardinia. All right, and they had the Romans would use our people to be like military, uh, you know, to fight in their military uh, uh, leagues because that's what the Romans did. They would use a uh, conquered nation to fight in their army. So Tiberius uh, expelled mm. Israelites to Sardinia, and Sardinia was plagued by malaria, what they call malaria. It was the, he would put a lot of Israelites in that particular region. All right, so Tiberius back in 19 AD expelled Israelites to that island, Sardinia. That's how a lot of us got there too, and also to Antiochus the third. Um, expelled a lot how, um, when you go to Acts, not to jump all over the place, when you go to Acts chapter 13, it talks about um, Sergius Paulus. All right, it talks about Sergius Paulus. And um, damn, matter of fact, let's just jump to it right quick. Uh. Yeah, I got you. Uh, this is Acts chapter 13. You can just start from the top. Start from the top. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just do this since we're on it. Uh, it says, Now there were in church, now there were in the church. That was at Antioch, certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon, that was called Niger, and Lucius of Cyrene, and Manson, or Manian, 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 Manian right. which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and Saul. Right, that Antioch is talking about Antioch, Syria, hmm. and it's going to go in verse 4, Seleucia, which was south of it, southwest of it. And they ministered to the Lord and fasted, and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work wherein too I have called them. And when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. So they being sent forth by the Holy Spirit departed unto Seleucia, and from thence they sailed to Cyprus. Right, Seleucia was named after uh, uh Seleucus Nicator as well. All right, um, he established another, um, you know, those cities, Antioch, but you had a whole bunch of Antiochs. It wasn't just one Antioch, but the Antioch over here, it's like they were first called Christians first in Antioch. That's talking about this place right here uh, in Syria, right where the Seleucid Empire ruled. All right, where the Seleucid Empire ruled and you had a lot of Israelites dispersed. All right, so they became um, Christians first in Antioch, derogatory terms and stuff. Nigga, they call us nigga as, you, as the mm -hmm. brother just read, you know. And when they were at Salamis, they preached the word in the synagogue of the Jews, and they had also John to their minister. Right, Salamis was east of, of the island of Cyprus. That was east of the island of Cyprus. They went to, from Antioch to Seleucia, then sailed to uh, the island of Cyprus. Well, or Kittim, or, or uh, uh, how you say that, Kittim? Kittim? Yeah, Kittim, mm -hmm. Okay, with um, as Philip I'm... II of Macedon, yeah. Alexander the Great's father, came from a Kittim, all right? So Solomon, um, Solomon was um, east in Cyprus, right? And when they were at Solomon, they preached the word of God in the synagogue of the Jews, and they had also John to their minister. And when they had gone uh, throughout, let's say the he, man, they had gone throughout. What's your say? I can't like. What, what, what verse are you looking at?